Rock Ray, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy J Rock. You already know what's going on. We're back with another lit video, another banger video. You already know what's going on. Every single video we drop is a banger. Check me out, man. It's Friday, January 13th. You get what I'm saying? It's cold as I don't know what, but we about to heat it up a little bit. You feel me? Gang got motion. Gang always got motion. If you know me, you know who I be with. You feel me? We always got motion. You know what I'm saying? So, as you can see by the title of this video, we about to hit the radio station, man. My boy Mel, one starts on Instagram, man. Y'all tap in. Whole tape dropping tomorrow for his birthday. He got a radio interview, man. So, we about to turn up real quick. Show our face. Show some, show some love. Show some support. Which is what I love. You feel me? All my bros, we all stick together. Stay tight. You know what I'm saying? So, we about to hit the radio station real quick. Check it out. See what's going on. Catch a vibe. Maybe make some connections. Some networking here and there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who we might end up seeing. You know, it's always going to be a good vibe when you pop out with you with J Rock. When you rock red, you already know. Every time we pop out, it's a good vibe. There's always something good going on. So, y'all stay tuned in and make sure y'all drop a like real quick. Go ahead and hit that bell icon too. So, the next video that drop, you already tapped into. So yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get the road. You know, I realized recently, some of y'all don't even have Chick-fil-A. Everybody not from Atlanta, everybody not from Georgia. I think Chick-fil-A is like a Georgia thing. Some of y'all don't even know what Chick-fil-A is. That's crazy. I feel bad for y'all. Look at that nigga. Hey man, we doing this shit forever, man. For real, for real, man. What we locked it? in. What we doing? You feel me? What we doing? We doing everything. We elevating. You feel me? Uh, accelerating. You feel me? Uh, precipitation. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Good again. You good. smooth? Yeah, I'm straight. Man. I love you. Got curly head with the big body Jeep. The baby got down track up. I'm gonna pop out real quick. See what's going on, on the inside, man. See, so y'all stay tuned in. I gotta eat my food. Though. I'm hungry. You didn't even have to wait. Yes. Good body heat though. Everybody warm up. How y'all doing? How you doing? Slow, slow. What'd you say? Take one away. Take two. Evil eye, evil eye, evil eye. We're going. What is what is talking about? It's a lot of evil in there. Uh huh. What they gotta do with you? So you got the eye they got there and peep it all up. All the hate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 94.7. The link, 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 good. It's time to go up, man. I don't care, this lit though. This shit hard. Think about that, man. I'm gonna put it on the right name in a minute. We got Leo to tell you right now. Solidify it. Yeah, we in, man. You feel me? It's a road to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Free that road. You know what I'm saying? Free that road to goddamn 94.7. The link, link, link. <laughs> I feel like all around, like I make, you know, R&B, pain, you feel know I me, mean? I can, you know, pipe you up, I mm -hmm. need to pipe you up, you feel me? Okay. But, so. Okay, so you make, you make a, a little mix, like, mm -hmm. a little pain music, but like, that song right there, I was listening to it in my song, on my car, I was like, okay, this is a vibe. Like, oh, this yeah, is the type of song, vibe. yeah, like, you yeah, can so, ride, so. you can ride too, I, I really like that. So you said you make more music like that, like a vibe type, yeah, of, type like, of thing. Yeah. Okay. So do you make, I'm sorry, do, so do you make more R&B music or more rap? Both. Okay. You feel me? I, I got songs for females, you know, songs for your pain, what you're going through, you know, piped up songs, when you drunk with your friends, so you feel me? Mm -hmm. Lit. 
So it's just like, that's the type of way I'm coming. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I like that you don't let people box you in. I think a lot of people nowadays, like, they only have one sound. And yeah. you hear the same songs over and over again. I was just talking to my friend about that the other day. It's like, people out here dropping like 40 song projects now, and like half of the songs sound exactly the same. So it's good to hear that you got like a whole new, whole new sound. So the people can know, where are you from? Where are you originated? Where, you know, where you grew up at? I'm oh, from the east side. Um, yeah, from the Canaan. Okay, like, great the Canaan TL. Great TL. Okay. Okay, we're going to play with them. See, okay, I'm, I'll be having to know this how I gauge people. What high school did you go to? I went to um, South East Cal in Miller Grove. Okay, got you. They let me know what I did. Okay. <laughs> I need to know if somebody can tussle or not. I feel like anybody that went to Southwest the Cab, like they know how to defend themselves, honestly or truly. So give us a little backstory. Tell us why you started music, when you started music. Uh, I started music in high school, like 2018, mm -hmm. 2019, but I never dropped. Mm -hmm. You know, I just never dropped. I always, you know, had to, I performed at um, my, my senior prom. Oh, so, right. so it's just like I just never really took it too serious. Mm -hmm. Everybody's telling me like take it serious, take it serious. So you know. What would you say it. held you back though, like from taking it seriously? I was playing football. Mm -hmm. I was uh, D1. You feel me? Okay. Um, I had like 50 offers. You feel me? Like, oh, nice. I still play football. You know, I just you feel me awesome. doing both. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't know that. Look, okay. that's what's up. So when did you get to the point where you was like, you know what, I'm about to do this. This is what um, I really want to do. This is my passion. Like, I get too much feedback. Mm. It's too much feedback. Like, too much. Like, people just telling me, like, you need to do it, you need to do it, you need to do it, stop playing. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what was, what's um, your inspiration? What's your insp uh, who inspires you to do music? Uh, my brother Chris. Uh, he passed 2015, you feel me? Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Mm -hmm. At 22, I'm finna turn 23 tomorrow, January 14th, so. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Appreciate it. So you getting lit tonight, huh? Yeah, okay. shit. <laughs> 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 appreciate it. Okay. 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 Appreciate it. You know, everybody from the east side, everybody from Atlanta. I really fuck with everybody from Atlanta. Like, I don't really too much. Not fuck with If you're from Atlanta, I fuck with you. Because, you know, it's in the water. Mm -hmm. Everybody tell I was just about to ask you that. So, like, you feel like your hometown definitely, like, inspired you to be who you are today pretty much. Yeah. But, you know, shout out to Houston and Louisville. They, okay. They inspired me too. Okay. Is that where you went to school? Yeah. Oh, okay. I went to Louisville. Okay. I went to Houston. That's what's up. It's good to see you doing both too, because I know when I was in school, I couldn't imagine having a whole rap career too and trying to go to school. How do you manage that? It's just like sometimes when we on off days or something, I go to the studio, you know, I just never let it get too, I, you know, I don't know. I just, I always had one foot in, one foot out with everything. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, I don't know, it was just crazy. Ooh, I, more power to you because I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it. So let's see. I know being a rapper is hard. I feel like it, you have to put yourself out there so much. Do you ever find that to be like difficult, like just having to constantly post or be on social media or like go to certain events, like having to perform? Like, do you ever feel like, okay, I'm tired? Or like, yeah, sometimes, like, but it's just like it's the grind, though. Mm -hmm. Trying to get where you're trying to go, so I do it. Ooh, so, what motivates you if that's the case? Um, my peers, my friends, you feel me, my family, mm -hmm. you feel me, like everybody that's around me, motivate me to be chosen, be gifted, you feel me, be mm -hmm. talented. So it's just like that's how I look at it. I'm telling you, you got the fan base. I I got videos in my phone. I'm gonna post them today. Of like this man had the whole audience singing his songs. Like it was crazy. Like, it was almost like your concert. It wasn't even like a like a oh, showcase. Nice. It was like your concert. <laughs> I love like, that. Yes, he was on yes. the stage. That's yes. what it's about. Like, yes. Yes. And say that you're so young and you already got that and you already got the motion behind you. Actually, that's commendable for real because yeah. folks out here old as hell just still trying to like, okay, get that one hit, that one break. Yeah, but to yeah. see that you already had that momentum, that's really, really good to see. I also see you at the show with that Luna World and Luna yeah. World. Yeah. yeah. That's my cousin. Oh, really? Oh, Kari. Shout out to Kari, man. Shout out to Kari. Okay, I see a lot of people with that stuff on. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, this is this is hard. Like, so how long has he been doing that? Like, um, for like, 
Mm, five years. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. I have to uh, link, you know, link, link. I got to talk to him about some things. I like his logo. I like how it has like a um, Playboy bunny and everything mm. like this. That's, that's really creative. Sure. Yeah, like I've been, I've been seeing everybody in the gear. I've been seeing everybody in the gear. So as far as like, you know, now in your career, have you ever had like, what is your favorite moment you've had so far? Mm. I don't know, like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a good question for you. So your first performance, how did you feel like, how did that go for you? Uh, it went good. Like, I was nervous, you know, but it went good. Mm. I just went and did it. Right, right. Cause I, I mean, cause I'm also an artist. I do R&B, okay, okay. and so for me, my first experience was like, like you said, nervous. Mm -hmm. I was extremely nervous, and yeah. so I had way too much to drink. <laughs> and I got on that stage, but so. yeah. So like, just a real transparent moment. Kind of threw up before I went on stage, yeah. but as soon as I got on there, right up. Exactly. Like it was no other feeling like that. So, but then once I got off the stage again, I threw up again. So, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But I made it happen, and that's when I was like, you know what, you can do this. You got this. So you know, it's all about making those experiences and getting past them. So yeah, definitely. If it was a good experience, bro, like you already know, you already you in the right place. You already in the right space. Yeah. 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 Do you have any artists that you want to work with, like um, in your near future? Uh, I want to work with. Lil PJ, um, I want to work with uh, Roddy Rich. You feel me? Like, you know, Rod Wave. Mm -hmm. uh, we love the Rod. Yeah. <laughs> we love the Rods. Ooh, we love the Rods. So that's like a little long. Hold on. Oh, boy, it was cutting up already. But no, Rod Wave. <laughs> I'm screaming. But so we got Rod Wave. Did you say Lil Baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love little baby. I'm little baby's baby in my brain. Like I just, I love little baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, but let's see. When it comes to these artists, do you feel like there's anything that you could take from anybody? Like, would you see somebody out there doing like, okay, like when I get on, I want to do that, or I can see myself being that type of way. Whether it's giving back, being like super secluded, or like really giving back. Mm -hmm. like, I, you know, like for Thanksgiving, I gave the homies pizza and water. Mm, that is so good. Yeah, it's, on my, it's on my page. Oh, whenever you post that. But, um, yeah, really giving back, really. That's what I want to do, just give back. Like, I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I look at life different, you feel me, than other people, for real. Because I went through at an early age with my brother, you feel me. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. So, um, but yeah, giving back for real. That's I can see that. I can see that. And then the regular degly, you know, the car, the clothes. Exactly. Yeah. That guy come with it. I Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. You work hard to reap the benefits. Like, Absolutely. ain't nobody just working hard and just stay in the same regular life. So I feel yeah. that. I feel that. What can the people expect from you in the near future? Uh, more music. More music. More content. Mm, okay. Sure. We gotta come back up here. We gotta get you in the studio over there. Okay. We gotta get Absolutely. Mike, we got yeah. the whole setup over okay, there. We gotta get it. you back in. We can also get you back in here for a podcast. I wanna ask the real questions, have a longer to sit down and talk to you and all that. Juicy and the real juicy yeah. questions. We gotta get Love fans. Love fans. Yeah. Love fans. Yeah. That's what we do up here. We like to get people panties in a bunch of panties. That's what we do. That's what we do. After the dark. After the dark. Okay, maybe next Friday. Maybe next Friday. We're gonna get into some things. But I'm gonna try to go follow him. Tell me where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, underscore. One starts. Yeah. And make sure y'all keep it live. I'm gonna actually play y'all a song. Introduce your song for the people. Look. Oh, this ride with five. Really, just talking about you know, in this in this world, you know, you gotta ride with it. Cause you never know when it's time when it's still turn to go. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. so. Stay ready, so you don't gotta get ready. Basically, yeah. okay. Period. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let me talk, though. Let me say talk. Man, I just had this first radio interview. Feel me? Feel me? Day before the birthday. 
Big 23rd. January 14th, man. Go get the evil eye, man. Yeah. Follow me, underscore. What starts, you feel me? Thank yeah. You. For real, for real, man. Y'all gotta understand, this is an important day. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, 23rd, you know what I'm saying? This is really a big accomplishment. Y'all know how we, how we is, where we come from, how we came up. This big, man. This is really time for everything that we done been working for, everything we've been praying for, it, all the nights we cried on, all that stuff, man. This the year when everything started really like crystallizing for real and coming to reality. You see what I'm saying? Everything, everything we worked on, man. Real for you see it happening. It's only January, bro. What about you popped up on the radio? Come on, man. What's up, man? That's on you. Each and every one of y'all motherfuckers. Pool is where it's set. Coming back for the pool, man. Nah, I wanna hit that. I wanna see that. I wanna hit that. I wanna see that. Mm -hmm. You know what it is, pool. Oh yeah, just shut your ass up. Over there. One ball. To my folk, I don't wanna hit. To my folk over there talking. I don't wanna hit. I don't wanna hit. I would pass the pool. man so back at the crib not over with but i just wanted to wrap up this video by telling y'all i appreciate y'all for watching you know what i'm saying for the ones that watch from the beginning to the end like i said i appreciate y'all for real for real this has been a good day for me and we got to link up with some of the guys had a had a a, a milestone you feel me for me and my bros man seeing my boy on a radio like a radio show you know what i'm saying this ain't 107.9 yet that's all that stuff coming you feel me but this is like stuff that we would talk about as kids and dream about you feel me so seeing this happen on the 23rd you know what i'm saying just a big step in in general so i'm proud of man Mel, you already know what's going on my boy much love forever my twin my dog you feel what i'm saying happy birthday brody with all that being said i appreciate y'all for watching this video it's your boy j-rock you already know it man it's good vibes only and we gone man i keep on trying and trying to ride with fire they get wicked in this shit you see somebody dying i done trouble